Hello everybody, it's Mandy from Hope Designs and I'm going to do a little more practice with my Yeeho. So if you saw the last bloom, um, it went okay. It wasn't anything like earth shattering, but it went okay. So this one I'm going to kind of use up some paint that I have mixed up that's maybe been mixed up for a little bit since I'm using a level one canvas here so this is just an eight inch round and i'm trying to pick which color i want to put like right under my cell activator so it's just going to be i also only have like this much left of my little aqua green cell activator so i figured i would make something that i could use that again so let's see I am going to start with um, my very first color. I'm trying to see what I need to use up. I only have a little bit left of Greek Isles and it's been mixed up for a long time. So Greek Isles was in the first semi-opaque primary element set the one that was called putting on the glitz so this has been mixed up since that came out um, super pretty color and i don't want to waste it so i'm going to put a little bit of uh, josonia and water in there um, which is mixed three parts josonia gloss varnish to one part water and it's just it's much better than adding straight paint so I'm just going to use this in the layering and I have about that much sweet tart mixed up too so I'm gonna see how much of the sweet tart I have so it's gonna be kind of a, a cocktail of colors this one is needs to loosen up a little with this water so but anyway that's a really good way to freshen up your paints. I mean, this has been mixed up for a while. So, but like that's probably enough for a puddle. So you wouldn't want to waste it if you can. So I'm just going to, but when your paints are a little thick, you can kind of spread them out a little bit so that they're not as likely to maybe bind up the blowing out process. I already have my pillow down and all the ingredients I use are in the description box below. And, um, so yeah, this was still a little thick because I'm a little nervous now, but it's okay. We'll work through it. And, um, on top of that, I'm going to put a little Chantilly Lace, which is a prison pour color. So beautiful it's like almost white but it's like a diamond oh man it's just gorgeous it's a great addition to anything I was gonna use a black puddle at the bottom but I didn't so I'm not gonna do that now now I'm gonna add uh, this is probably something I can use later I have a tiny bit of Laguna Azul mixed up from a previous pour. And it's starting to thick up a little, thicken up a little bit too, so I'm just going to water it down a wee bit. This is kind of one of those everything but the kitchen sink blooms you know sometimes those turn out to be so pretty actually <laughs> when you throw a bunch of stuff in you're like we'll see time to mix more paint because you have it's like you have enough to use in like one puddle layer but not really much beyond that so yeah and add that to my stash of Cups I'm going to throw away. Now I'm torn between 
juicy pear or like sticking with kind of the blue green theme if I go with juicy pear I haven't used juicy pear in a pour yet this is from the new set the jelly bean set and it has like a blue shift I don't know if you can see that it's a beautiful color We might as well throw a little bit of that bad boy in there. And then I'm probably going to need to chill with all the colors. I'll put a good layer of that one in there because I really want it to show. And then I'm going to put the lid on it. And I was going to include Nebula Star, but it will probably overpower that guy a little bit. And let's do Falling Star, because I haven't used that one a lot. This is also from the new set. Can you see that? Look at that. It's delicious. Let's do Falling Star. It's so hard to show you guys how beautiful that color really is on the camera. I don't know how well you can see that. You can see that what you can see is this is crooked. That I can see. <clears throat> okay, and I kind of want to put Sweet Tooth right over that. And I think I will. Sweet Tooth is also from the new set. It's a beautiful pink, sort of almost like a mauve, but not so gray. It's a beautiful color. Put a little bit of that guy right there in the middle. Just a little contrast with our blues and greens. And you know, I'm over here thinking these colors are really light. So I'm probably about to pop some dark color right on the top. <clears throat> and so far, I don't even have any tube paint in there other than the prism pour colors, which are not tube paints, but they're paints. So this is indigo from Matisse. And I think we're going to do this as our top layer and a tiny bit of black underneath that cell activator. Only because I like the way it looks. Part of me is wondering if I shouldn't just leave the black off, but I usually like the way it adds a little bit of pop of color to frame the cell activator a little bit. So, all right, I need to cover up my black because it's getting thick. We have a lot of bubbles to pop. And my bloom is running away, which tells me there's probably something causing this to not be level. So there's a lot of bubbles. I wonder if I just slam this down if they'll pop faster. It's really annoying for y'all, but it's more efficient. Okay. Um, we're going to use a an aqua green cell activator. I did not pop all those bubbles. I don't want to be too annoying. My husband's in there taking the test. Taking the test is enough work without me in here whacking things on the table. Sometimes 
I look at these color combinations and I'm like, why did I layer all of those colors together? But sometimes those are like the best blooms when you're like, okay, let's try this. Okay. So if you saw my last video, you know that I said that I have noticed the Eho glows really hard. And so I always use more cell activator than I would use otherwise. <clears throat> and that could just be because my skills still need some work in that area. But it's a good time to practice because this needs to be used up. It's been mixed up for a minute. Okay, I'm going to wipe my hands really quick and then I'm going to get this thing going. And I'm sorry because it's loud. And I'm certainly no expert at doing this, so understand that I am like not giving you a Yeehaw tutorial. I'm just practicing with you. But what I have learned is to start up high until you see it move. And then Okay, then move it out. Is I always have one section that's totally crazy and not blown out but I can usually work with that myself and blow it myself this time we can go all the way onto the pillow so I'm gonna leave this alone for a second and I'm gonna try to catch the outskirts myself Then I'll catch some other parts with the turkey baster in a minute, but that helped a little. That's kind of crazy looking, but um, let's catch more of it with the turkey baster. Some of the surface tension is breaking up in the middle, which is good. I'm trying to let you guys see what I'm doing, and I know you can't see the side angle, but I'm not really trying to blow that apart. I'm just trying to break the surface tension. It'll sell up on its own. Took me a long time to learn that. And on these outer edges, wherever you have a little bit of cell activator, if you can catch the edge of it, you can get it to go out a little bit. And possibly even give you some nice lacing on the edges. Okay. Okay, let's see. Let's see, I think I need to maybe embellish a little bit right here. All of this honestly turned out a lot better than I expected. So, let me, I brought one of these little dudes. Let me kind of come over here. Actually, I think it would be better to use this. I'm using the wider edge because this is the part I sort of messed up a second ago showing you guys and that's not looking too great but I just want it to not look too crazy so 
maybe not going to overdo it with that. So there's a piece of junk right here in my paint. Okay, I'm going to maybe not mess with this anymore because hopefully it'll fly off the corner edge and all of my efforts there are not going too well. Let's um, tilt a wee bit this way. See if we can't stretch that weird part. See how it's still not moving a lot here? That's my one contention with this thing is it blows so far down that sometimes you can't like get it to come back up. And that makes it kind of difficult when you're trying to work on your composition. So I don't like this, I hope it blows off, but some of these other parts, I'm kind of trying to prepare for how it blows out. Let's just spin it, shall we? See what happens. The colors blended a lot better together than I honestly thought they would. And I have a lot more coverage in the middle this time. So I think practicing on these level one canvases is going to be smart for me to try to get this down. I'm very impatient with not being great at things right away. Um, I will go back to what I know and what I can get a win from immediately and where I can get some like immediately happy results or whatever. Um, if I get super frustrated, I will do that. And that's not how you challenge yourself and grow. So um, I do practice a lot of things, but sometimes I have to go back to having a win, even if it's a small win, if I've had nothing but garbage. This is honestly turning out super beautiful. And that indigo is going on top of that sweet tooth color and creating a beautiful purple. And now, despite how crazy it blew out, we're actually getting a bloom with almost perfect coverage and almost, almost ideal cell distribution. So, what a pleasant surprise. Huh. How interesting. Pardon me while I marvel for a second. Like, look at the colors of that. Has, and that juicy pear color is so beautiful. And sometimes it's hard to know how you're gonna like using a green color if you're not a total green person. I'm a teal and an aqua person. And so this color combination that we used, where we used the Juicy Pear and the Falling Star, the two colors as they've sort of emerged together has created a beautiful teal color, but this little pop of that Juicy Pear color is really cool. And the Aqua Green Cell Activator is a perfect complement to these colors. So what a win, huh? Super, super beautiful. This is, again, why I love color art so much. Uh, before I totally forget to tell you again, save 20% on anything on the color art website. That also includes resin art, if you're into resin, which I am. Um, prism pour, color art, um, all of the pouring medium tools, all that stuff. 20% off using Mandy1120. The code is also in the description box below. If you're not part of our Facebook group, which is um, Fluid Art Friends. We would love for you to join us. The link is also below. I love it when you guys share your art in there. And um, it can be really any kind of art, fluid art, resin art, alcohol inks, whatever. I gotta stop spinning this for now. I just need to make sure that there's enough paint off, but this is probably one of the best blowouts I've ever had with the ho so far to date. So I'm 
pretty happy. Um, let me clean up my hands and I'll bring you down for a close up. Need to pop a couple bubbles, but let you see it without the ring light. Um, thanks again. Give me a, just a minute. I was showing you guys my close up and I never actually hit record. What a doofus. I'm really pleasantly surprised by how this turned out. I love the way the indigo and the black created some contrast, but they're also um, spread out pretty evenly. I love this corner right here. And I was really on the fence about adding the sweet tooth color, which was that pink color, but I think it, it was a perfect balance. And um, I really love the aqua green cell activator. I love the way the black plays and interacts with it. And um, this is going to look great under some resin. This one part up here is where I had some challenges blowing it out myself and I blew too hard. And that's why we see that white. But it, it's okay. It adds a little interest to the colors. Um, yeah, I'm really pleasantly surprised by how this blew out. I feel like me and the Yeeho are bonding a little bit better. I'm going to get there. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for all of you who support this channel. If you are uh, not a subscriber, we would love for you to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Don't forget about the color art discount code below, Mandy1120. Uh, there's also a KS Resin discount code, some links to my Amazon shop, and I am working on the actual storefront, so be patient with me. Appreciate you guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye.